we're asked to solve y double prime minus two xy prime plus x squared y equals zero with initial conditions y of zero equals one and y prime of zero equals negative one using Taylor's method. Or more specifically, we want to determine a degree four Taylor polynomial solution. We will assume a solution exists and y of x is analytic at x equals zero. For a quick review, if f of x is an infinitely differentiable function, then the Taylor series about x equals x sub zero is given by the following formula. A function f of x is analytic at x sub zero if the Taylor series about x equals x sub zero has a positive radius of convergence and converges to f of x. And again, in our case, we're told to assume a solution exists and y of x is analytic at x equals zero. For the first step, I determine the degree four Taylor polynomial at x equals zero. To do this, we simply substitute zero for x sub zero in the formula below. And I also rename the function y instead of f. We have y of x equals y of zero plus y prime of zero divided by one factorial times x plus y double prime of zero divided by two factorial times x squared plus y triple prime of zero divided by three factorial times x cubed and finally plus y quadruple prime of zero divided by four factorial times x to the fourth. This is the solution we're looking for. We now need to determine y of zero, y prime of zero, y double prime of zero, y triple prime of zero, and y quadruple prime of zero. Before we do this though, let's solve the differential equation for y double prime. To do this, we add two x y prime to both sides and subtract x squared y from both sides. This gives us y double prime equals two x y prime minus x squared y. From here, the initial conditions are y of zero equals one and y prime of zero equals negative one. This gives us the first two terms in the Taylor polynomial. If y of zero equals one and y prime of zero equals negative one, we now know y of x equals one minus x plus several more terms. And now we need to determine y double prime of zero. We know y double prime is equal to two x y prime minus x squared y. To find y double prime of zero, we substitute zero for x, negative one for y prime since y prime of zero equals negative one, and one for y since y of zero equals one. This indicates y double prime of zero equals two times zero times negative one plus zero squared times one, which is equal to zero. And since y double prime of zero equals zero, there is no degree two term in the Taylor polynomial. And now we need to determine y triple prime of zero. To do this, we first have to find y triple prime. Y triple prime is equal to the derivative of y double prime with respect to x, which means y triple prime is equal to the derivative of two x y prime minus x squared y with respect to x. And we have to apply the product rule to differentiate two x y prime, as well as to differentiate negative x squared y. This indicates that y triple prime is equal to two x times the derivative of y prime with respect to x, which is y double prime, plus y prime times the derivative of two x with respect to x, which is two, giving us plus two y prime. And now we need to apply the product rule to differentiate negative x squared y, which gives us minus x squared times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is y prime, and then plus y times the derivative of negative x squared with respect to x, which is negative two x, giving us minus two x y. And now to determine y triple prime of zero, we substitute zero for x, one for y, since y of zero equals one, negative one for y prime, since y prime of zero equals negative one, and zero for y double prime, because y double prime of zero equals zero. This gives us y triple prime of zero equals two times zero times zero, plus two times negative one, minus zero squared times negative one, minus two times zero times one, Notice all the products are zero except this term here. Y triple prime of zero is equal to negative two. And since y triple prime of zero is equal to negative two, the degree three term is minus two divided by three factorial times x cubed. And since three factorial is equal to three times two times one or six, and two six simplifies to one third, the next term is minus one third x cubed. And now we need to determine y quadruple prime of zero to determine the fourth derivative of y, we need to differentiate y triple prime with respect to x. And we have to apply the product rule three times. We need to apply the product rule to differentiate two x y double prime, negative x squared y prime, as well as negative two x y. This indicates y quadruple prime is equal to 
the derivative of 2xy double prime with respect to x is 2xy triple prime plus 2y double prime plus the derivative of 2y prime, which is 2y double prime, and the derivative of negative x squared y prime with respect to x gives us minus x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime, and the derivative of negative 2xy with respect to x gives us minus 2xy prime minus 2y. And now to evaluate this fourth derivative at x equals zero, we substitute zero for x, one for y since y of zero equals one, negative one for y prime since y prime of zero equals negative one, zero for y double prime since y double prime of zero equals zero, and we substitute negative two for y triple prime because y triple prime of zero equals negative two. This gives us y quadruple prime of zero equals two times zero times negative two plus two times zero plus two times zero minus the square of zero times zero minus two times zero times negative one minus two times zero times negative one minus two times one. Notice all the products are zero except this last product, y quadruple prime of zero is equal to negative two. Notice how I could have combined like terms in the fourth derivative, but I left it in the unsimplified form. But of course the result is the same. And since y quadruple prime of zero equals negative two, the degree four term is minus two divided by four factorial times x to the fourth. And since four factorial is equal to 24, we have minus one twelfth x to the fourth. This is our degree four Taylor polynomial solution. I hope you found this helpful.